What's going on ladies and dudes? Welcome to another episode of Graham by Graham. This is episode 13. I am pumped to be here. I got fresh coffee. It's actually my third cup and it's not fresh. I reheated it in the microwave. Totally besides the point though. Here we go. So if this is your first Graham by Graham, take a second Pause what you're doing, head on down to the description and read the mission statement just so you can get caught up with kind of what I'm about, what I'm doing. Hello to those of you returning. This is the second episode I've done since switching to monthly. Uh, and, and I'm glad I did. It's given me some time to, to really focus on some other important things and try and start creating some other content for YouTube that's relevant, that's more than just stats about uh, my Instagram. So with that being said, this is this month's stats. Blamow! 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 What you'll see here is I gained just over 2,000 followers in the month of February. My media posted is down a little bit, which I'll explain in a second. I get over 15 grand uh, in hearts, and my comments went down just a hair, uh, and engagement's looking pretty decent. So one of the reasons my media is down, which is to say I posted a little bit less in February than the previous month, is because I was getting to the point where I felt I was posting just for the sake of posting, and like I had to hit this schedule. Now, it's important to post consistently, but I also think there needs to be a balance between that and posting quality. So for me, I needed to reel it in just a little bit so I felt like I could put a little more effort into each post and not just post recycled garbage that I was finding uh, in other places and trying to make it a little bit original. So my advice on that front is to try and get into a groove that makes sense for you and how much time you have to allocate for Instagram. Reposting other people's posts can be a way to have additional content that doesn't take a lot of time to produce, but don't do it too much because it just gets a little tired. I think people in general like to see stuff that's created by you, even if it's a quote, you know, that's a familiar quote, at least you've interpreted it in your style or in your own way. So my likes this month actually went up quite a bit, even though my media is down from the previous month. And that is, I think, mainly because I completely revamped my hashtag strategy, which I'm gonna create a separate video because it's gonna take a little bit of time that I'm gonna be posting in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe because that will be coming out within the next two weeks. I have a whole lot to say about hashtags in general, whether or not I think they bring in quality likes and followers, but for the sake of this argument, let me just say that the point of this video is gonna be that I am not a big fan of the most popular hashtags, like the application tags for likes, where it just gives you the top 30 hashtags you can plug in on your content and hopes to give you a million likes. I think that is complete bullshit, so I'm gonna go over a little bit of the reasoning behind what I was doing and how I think it helped and allowed me to get a little more exposure uh, on some lesser well-known hashtags, so stay tuned for that. So the comments in February were down a little bit from January, which I think is partly because of less media, but I also think it's always a good indication that I need to continually be thinking of how I can create content that will not spark controversy as much as, you know, create emotion or give someone a reason to share it with somebody else because a lot of, as you know, comments on Instagram come from people tagging their friends in posts because it compelled them enough, they liked that post enough to tag their friend because they wanted them to see him. That is the key to the virality aspect of Instagram is being, being able to curate content that gives people a reason to share it with their friends. And that's after you get the ball rolling initially, that's how you really start to grow exponentially. Thank you to these people who were my most engaged followers in the month of February. It means the world to me that you take the time to like my post. I hope I'm bringing you something of value. So if you like this video and have any vested interest in what I'm doing, uh, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. If you didn't like it and you hate my face, come get some. Give me a big fat thumbs down. Uh, I'll probably lose a little sleep tonight from weeping uncontrollably, but in the morning I, I'm pretty confident I'll be over it. So thanks again, and I'll see you next week.